Gray water systems can also incorporate pumps and filters to send gray water uphill, across long distances, and through small drip irrigation emitters. These systems do cost more, use energy, and filters require frequent cleaning. So don't install one unless you're confident it's the best system to meet your needs. If your yard slopes uphill, you can install the simplest of these systems, a pump with no filter. Install a diverter valve. Direct gray water into a tank with an effluent or dirty water pump inside. When the tank fills, a float switch engages the pump to send water through one inch irrigation line with half inch outlets. This is similar to the distribution system of a laundry to landscape system, with outlets large enough so they won't clog and are directed to specific plants. If you want to irrigate lots of small plants or spread gray water over a large area, you'll need to incorporate a filter and gray water compatible drip irrigation tubing. The filter removes particles so gray water won't clog the drip emitters. You can buy a system, like Irrigray, that comes with a tank, a pump, and a filter, and special gray water compatible irrigation tubing. Or you can put a system together yourself. The mid-price range systems require manual filter cleaning. You'll have to remove the filter and wash out all the slimy buildup. This is not difficult, but not pleasant either, and if you don't do it, the system will fail. If you want a lower maintenance system, Either get a maintenance contract with a local installer or install a higher tech system where the filter is self-cleaned. These self-cleaning filters cost between five to $20,000. Remember, even with a filter, you must use plant-friendly products in the home. Gray water filters do not remove salts or boron, which can harm plants.